Ciao, I'm Stefania, welcome in my Tuscan kitchen. Today we are making passata. Passata means literally tomato puree, so tomatoes, fresh basil leaves, sea salt are the ingredients to make it. Passata is a late summer ritual in every Italian home to bring the flavors and the colors of the summer into the uh, dark, cold and gray winter days. Let's start. So the tomatoes we are going to use today for our passata is the San Marzano type. San Marzano is uh, this uh, plum shaped uh, tomatoes are the best to make a delicious passata. Uh, the reason is because they are very fleshy, very dense and uh, with a really a small amount of peats. You can also use other tomatoes if you can't find this. Uh, it doesn't matter but they should be very red and ripe like this. So we are going now to cut these tomatoes in cubes and we can use this bread knife or these ceramic knives because they are very sharp and they don't smash the tomatoes. As you notice I'm not going to remove anything from this side so I'm going to leave this because um, they are very beautiful tomatoes from the garden, so I'm going just to remove some black spots like this, but we're going to use everything. As you can see inside, it's very dense and really few, very, very few seeds on it. And now we're going to uh, uh, cook these tomatoes in a big pot with a lid on without any water, just a little bit of sea salt till they become soft and after that we're going to grind them. We're going to soft our tomatoes in this big uh, stainless steel pot without anything except tomatoes, chopped tomatoes and the, uh, the pinch of sea salt. We cover with a lid and we cook them till they are they are soft, it can be 5 or 10 minutes. So we are going to check later if the liquid is enough to uh, grind our passata. And now the chopped tomatoes are cooked enough, so that you see they are a little bit softer. Now we are going to grind them with this passatutto. So the liquid that is on the bottom is just the liquid of the tomatoes. So through this passatutto, just the pulp will go down and the skin and the, the few seeds will stay up. We try or not to, to uh, include the water when we grind them, when we grind them. going to place this uh, tomato puree back on the stove so the water uh, let's say we, we can evaporate and this is our passata So we're going to cook for about 15-20 minutes, uncovered, so all the water in excess can evaporate. So this is the passata. So this is the right uh, texture, so it's very smooth, very thick. Now we're going to uh, place it into these jars. We're going to first place some basil leaves on the bottom of the jars. And 
tomato on the floor. So this is just tomatoes with just a little bit of salt that help to keep for months and a lot of tomatoes, nothing else than that. We just grind them with this passatutto and it's something to keep in a cupboard and it's a base for delicious soup, pasta sauce and any other dishes that need some tomato base. So these jars are sterilized. We need to close them. And we need to uh, place in the jars where the, uh, while the passata is still very hot. And this is ready. This is the passata for the rest of the year. This is my passata recipe. If you want to know more of my recipes. This is my cookbook. You can uh, visit my website pastapeso.com where you can find a lot of information about my cooking activities. Buon appetito! Ciao!